Hey guys, here we have question number 15 from Build Up and Understand the exercise of the chapter Current Electricity from the book Pathfinder. So, uh, 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 let's look at the question first. A circuit shown in the figure consists of two an ideal battery, three resistances R1, R2 and R3 and two ideal ammeters. At present, the ammeters read 0.2 ampere and 0.3 ampere as shown. If on interchanging places of any two of these resistances, the readings of the battery, readings of the ammeter remain unaffected how much current is the battery supplying so if you want to give this question a, a try you should do it now so yeah, now let's look at the hint so first of all uh, I, I would like to say that this question is worded not very nicely and uh, many different interpretations can be uh, made from it but uh, the interpretation we require is that uh, in one circuit we have to consider only a uh, interchanging of one pair you have not you, you don't have to uh, consider interchanging all three pairs in uh, with the same uh, current to the battery so if you want to give this uh, question a try again with the scent uh, you should do it now so uh, now let's look at the solution so from the hint it's pr pretty clear that we will have to analyze each pair separately and we'll have to see whether each works or not so first let's consider the case on interchanging uh, resistances R1 and R2 so from here, let's assume the current to the battery is I. So the current in this branch will be I minus 0.2. In this branch, it will be I minus 0.5. And in this branch, it will be I minus 0.3. So now, writing down the equation of potential across the first emitter or between the potential difference between these two points from Kirchhoff's law, what we can say is that R1 times I minus 0.2 plus R2 times I minus 0.5 equals to 0. So basically, uh, R1 times uh, I minus 0.2 and R2 times I minus 0.5 is giving 0 and similarly now exchanging R1 and R2 the currents will remain the same so the potential and the potential difference will again remain the same so writing again uh, just by interchanging R1 and R2 we get this equation uh, R2 times I minus 0.2 plus R1 times I minus 0.5 equals to 0 so from here we can clearly see that R1 must be equal to R2 on solving this so from here substituting r1 equals to r2 we get with the curve value of current to be equals to 0 0.35 ampere from here like uh, uh, cutting r1 and r2 we get i equals to 2i equals to 0 0.7 so i equals to 0 0.35 ampere so this case is certainly possible and it's possible when the current through battery is 0 0.35 ampere similarly let's consider the case when we exchange r2 and r3 so from here let uh, we have again assumed the same setup and here the current to this branch is i minus 0.2 i minus 0.5 and i minus 0.3 so from here again writing the sim similar equations r2 minus uh, this time only across uh, the second diameter we get r2 times 1 minus i minus 0.5 plus r3 times i minus 0.3 equals to 0 and similarly r2 and r exchanging r2 and r3 we get this equation and again r2 equals to r3 and from here we get that the current through the battery should be 0.4 ampere so these two cases are certainly possible now let's consider the third case when r1 and r3 are exchanged so now let's finally consider the case in we are in we have to interchange r1 and r3 again the same setup and uh, this time writing both the equations of uh, across these two points and these two points so we get four e uh, two equations basically and on interchanging we get uh, two one, uh, two more equations so from here this is the equation across the first ammeter when uh, we haven't exchanged R1 and R3 and this is across the first ammeter again when we have exchanged R1 and R3 and similarly ac across the second ammeter originally and after exchange this is the equation. So from here we can clearly see that again R1 and R3 must be equal for this to be possible. But from here what we can see is that in sec from second and third equation let's say these two terms are same and these two terms are different but the same of these two uh, sum of these two terms is zero so which isn't possible at the same time right so uh, this case is by the way uh, hand and hence we can clearly see that this situation is just not possible so uh, this third case is not possible and hence there are only two cases in which uh, these conditions is applicable so yeah that's the final answer that these two cases are possible for this question and only thing uh, i would like to say is that it it should have been worded a bit properly and that in any circuit not that all the interchanges will apply only one of the interchanges must apply so yeah, that's the final answer hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe thank you